Oh, dang, yo. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hello, my name is Vincent, and welcome to a brand new series of Starbound. I've been wanting to do a playthrough of Starbound for quite some time, and since version 1.1 just came out, it sounds like a great time to do it. I have a new kid character here ready to go, and we're named Fenced In. Awesome. And we will be playing in Survival, and we're not going to skip the intro mission because we do want to do the tutorial just to show you guys the tutorial. So let's jump right in and start with the tutorial. Wake up! Wake up, you have overslept. All right, get out of our little bunk. It's a little cool thing we can, we can go back to sleep if we want. <laughs> to interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should have, or you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you're awake enough to do so. Uh, so yeah, we hit E over anything that basically, uh, whenever we put our mouse cursor over it, it highlights. Um, you can also hold Alt to see all the different things that you can interact with. So you can interact with this little radio here. Uh, you have doors, you have little chairs, or well, in this case, a toilet, <laughs> in case you need to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go through this tutorial here. There's a little thing up there you can do too. You can actually interact with stuff quite a quite a ways away. So you will see me hitting the Alt key to see things we can actually click on. I hear in there, but your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It is quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you are running so late. All right, let's go and grab it. Uh, looks like our locker has a few things. Actually, we just take all here. Cool. <laughs> Uh, go back to our inventory. We have a graduation flyer. It's just junk. The flyer commemorates the protectorate's graduate sir, graduation ceremony. It's awesome. We have some uh, new clothes we can put on. And also the clothes you picked in the character creation. Uh, or just clothes you can have. And, I mean, you can sell it or whatever. But yeah. Uh, we have some people here. What do we got? Soon you'll be a real protector with your fairy own matter manipulator. Yes, of course. <laughs> Off to a bit of a late start, aren't you, Vincent? Yes, yes we are. Uh, you can jump in this game too. <laughs> uh, welcome to Protectorate. Talk to me for some handy tips. You can talk to her and get all kinds of things like, oh, hit I for inventory or cue for dropping item you're holding. Huh? We got a little vending machine here. We can afford a few things here. We'll, we'll go ahead and grab a Ocu Lemonade because well, why not? Uh, it goes in our food inventory, which is kind of cool. I like that the inventories are split up between uh, various different things. If you played way back in the beta, you only had just a couple inventories and they were just kind of, they were a mess to to go over but now they are a whole lot better you can also drag stuff from here and put it onto your inventory but i'm just gonna you can just right click to get rid of it right now i don't want anything on there yeah let's continue on I'm like really slow in the tutorial <laughs> we go over this nice little sky bridge here this little uh glitch weary every day more pedals to sweep yes <laughs> he's gonna forever be picking up those pedals now what do you got uh, sit with me for a moment and let's enjoy these beautiful blossoms. You can just hit that and you can sit down here and enjoy the beautiful blossoms. Uh, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> Pick up a little flower. Automatically equips it if you don't have a, a slot open. Or if you have a slot open. Uh, really cutting and close, Vincent. Please hurry inside before the ceremony starts. Oh my gosh, let's go! <laughs> and we got all, like, I don't know. Like, these must be like the headmasters of the pr protectorates or whatever. And you got a little man manipulator in the background. I like how everyone here is a different race and stuff. Uh, all the different ones. Yeah, let's go up to our graduation ceremony. Oh no. Shh, guys. Shh. My fellow protectors, today we'll be coming together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years, we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Our task to protect our fellow begins. To support, house, and educate those who seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest comp compatriots and present them each with our greatest tool. As he picks it up. The Matter Manipulator! Oh wait, oh no, what's going on, huh? What was that? Oh guys, I'm getting super scared here. What? What's going on? What, what, what the? Look at those tentacles all over the place. I'm tearing things up. Got some people in the background all dead there. You graduate, take the mini player and run. Oh my gosh, we're going. Let's pick it up. Matter manipulator got. And we got the pick. Which makes it so we can actually gather blocks in the world and stuff, which is cool. Like our let's go! Oh my gosh. And then the little tutorial, of course, we go. 
Oh, it appears the ceiling has collapsed. The matter manipulator can be used to clear this dirt. Where's the R key to equip it? All right, cool. You can just basically gather it. Uh, normally you can, uh, so it's left click to gather blocks that uh, are solid in front of you. And if you right click, you can get the stuff in the background. Although uh, this is the only thing we can actually collect in this this part of the mission here, or this little tutorial. You have to clear enough of it to get around it. Cool, whatever. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Actually, I want to, let's see, get rid of that. Cool. And come up here. There's a little bench we can sit on, of course, if we wanted to. Yep. <laughs> Everything is going, going to... Oh no. Since the room is flooded, it would be best not to go in. I advise you to find a way over it. Use spacebar to jump. This is where it tells you. Oh, you can jump. Oh, cool. I didn't know I could jump this whole entire time. <laughs> it's a platformer without jump. No. Um, uh, yeah. Skills of disaster are immeasurable. The destruction occurring is beyond. Oh god. The jump. <laughs> yeah. This is. Come on, come on. Run, run, run. Right. We got a little tentacle here. And if you notice when you hit alt there, it's like, oh look, there's this cool little thing over here. And we got our cape. Yes. Now we are truly protectorate. With our epic cape. All right, let's get it. You notice? Oh, look. The chest sitting in that conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. And you pretty much get the same weapon all the time. You also get some pixels and stuff, too. Then it should automatically equip into an available slot, which it did. And it's cool. Like, you can, uh, basically, it's got a little combo move, so you can just slash once, and it'll do that. But if you combo it, that does like a little three hit. Uh, you also have this special move where if you, uh, since it's two-handed weapon, it has a special, which is spin slash. So if you right click and hold, you can do this cool spin slash. And that uses energy. So, but yeah, just tear through this guy real quick. Do a little energy. There we go. And then we got one last thing to collect here. Cool. Uh, and I do not like those in those slots. I'm going to actually switch them around here. All right, perfect. And then we got one last crate, but we can't actually get it. <laughs> oh, no. We got in our ship. We're blasting off. We're escaping. Very cool. Starbound. All right. <laughs> this is a great game, guys. I'm so glad it's out of out of beta and it's officially launched. And the latest update is pretty awesome. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, but yeah, so here we're in our ship. We've got a little fluffy here. He's got a little green coat. Uh, reboot process remains initi uninitiated. Got rebooting. Okay. I am Sail, your ship base artificial intelligence lattice. I manage the maintenance of your ship. Missed that, whatever. <laughs> the attack by an unknown force and was subsequently annihilated. The ship's navigation systems were damaged in the escape. Our location is currently unknown. And then we have a new quest. Yay. We're currently in orbit around an unknown world. Oh, yeah. This is back to base. We're currently in orbit in an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged. All right. Beam down. Got a little quest here. You can always check your quest here. You can always hit your J button to get the journal. You can see it here. You can stop tracking if you don't want it up there, but we're going to go ahead and keep it tracked. All right, cool. Other things you can do in the ship right now. Uh, you can open the door, which is awesome. Cool. <laughs> Everything else is basically broken. And then we can go to our little uh, ship locker, which is kind of cool. You can put, a, put some stuff in there. Uh, for now, we're going to do, let's see. I'm actually going to switch this to three. Yeah, we also got some torches and we also got food so since we're playing survival we actually do need to eat this little yellow bar down here is our hunger bar and we have some some food basically so yeah let's go ahead and beam down to our world and check it out <laughs> the stegemeister cool <laughs> and it is nighttime that's awesome uh oh uh nighttime means uh flying things are hostile generally during the daytime flying things don't attack you which is kind of cool but start out what do we got here Discover some plant fiber. This will be woven into useful fabric at a spinning wheel. We also... Well, that's it? Does this just give us... Just plant fiber? Oh, there we go. We got some pro... That's purple seeds. Purple seed plant. Um, yeah, basically if you hold alt, you can kind of see the different things you can collect. Uh, we got some wheat here. We also got... Uh, what is this? Potatoes? Some potatoes. I'm actually going to put a torch here just to signify... This is the start, and uh, we'll just go to the right, and uh, eventually if we come back to the spot, we'll know we've explored the whole planet, uh, which we will do eventually. Uh, also, before we go any further, <laughs> we should actually explore this a little bit. There we go. Light it up. Uh, what I want to get first is uh, actually some of this stuff. These little vines here. This is also plant fiber. This is your main way of getting plant fiber throughout the game. It's finding these little guys. And it's really useful because the main way you heal is through the salts, which are these little white guys right here. A little medicine. They do a little heal over time, which is really cool. 
But you make it out of plant fiber, so it's very important to have plant fiber. Because we're probably going to need lots of it. Also, we want to grab some uh, ores, because ores are always going to be useful for things. You discovered some ore, or can be turned into bars using a furnace. Bars are useful for crafting a wide range of equipment that increase your life expectancy. Very good. I'm going to grab all of this. This is all just copper. Uh, your starting world is going to have four different ores. So we have copper, and I believe this is iron here. Yes. That's kind of cool. And then, of course, we do need some wood. So let's bust down the tree. I'm pretty sure it follows the... Uh, like, whichever side you're on, it's going to fall the other way. So it's going to fall away from us, basically. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> you found some wood. My dead bank's telling me wood is a material with a great many uses. I suggest you kill additional <laughs> you kill additional trees and explore the crafting menu. Crafting menu, by the way, is uh, hit C. And these are the things you can craft uh, on the fly. And uh, we're just actually just going to craft a bunch of these solids here. And you do have to wait. Some things take longer to craft than others, but uh, this one's not too bad. We'll let it craft for a little bit. Actually, let's stop right there. That's fine. But yeah, we'll be making a few of these things. Well, actually... To make the uh, torches, basically. We need, uh, basically, it's coal and uh, wood. So, we're getting many trees as we can on the way here. Uh, I do really want to get that cotton down over the left there. Yeah, so this first uh, first episode here, we'll kind of explore around. I'm not going to skip anything. In future, we'll, we'll maybe skip some of the boring parts, but since the very first, we've never seen any of this stuff. Oh, oh no, we're going to die. <laughs> Kill it all. There we go. And we can use the salt. You have to basically, either you can uh, go to your inventory and grab it from here, and then click, and then it'll use it. Or you can put it on a hotbar and then use it from there. And again, these are left click and right click, basically. Sounds very good. I do want to get this cotton, but I also don't want to get rid of all these guys. Here. <laughs> get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. Alright, cool. Cotton is uh, it's useful for a few things. For making armor and uh, whatnot, of course. I want to go to the right. There we go. Get some of these uh, petals. Uh, they're used to make dyes, which is kind of cool. Uh, some things take dyes. All right. And it's starting to become daytime, which is awesome. And, oh, look. Since we're pushing alt, we can find... Hey, look, there's this little uh, little grave here. And guess what's underneath this grave? <laughs> Sometimes you'll find chests just randomly underground. There's actually quite a few chests that are close to the surface. So that's cool. Oh, we've got a copper pickaxe. Awesome. That's actually that in the sixth slot here. Pickaxes used to be able to be crafted. Now they are no longer be able to. They're no longer able to be crafted. But uh, they're kind of cool. So our uh, our matter manipulator right now does uh, a two by two area. So you can do four blocks at a time with a pick. You can do a three by three area. And also right now it's way 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 faster than our normal our normal uh, matter manipulator. So it's quite useful. And not all the creatures here are um, hostile. I don't know if that one was or not. I just decided to attack it right away. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's gather some more of this stuff. There we go. So make sure we don't die or anything. There we go. We're at half life. Uh, so I'd like to get. Let's go ahead and switch over to our pickaxe here. I see some coal down below us. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Coal is always, always useful because uh, every once in a while you find a, a uh, you find some places where you can buy torches, but you use torches. I use torches all the time, so you may not. <laughs> here, get Rex on. I'm like so bad at the combat. I'm more, I'm like really bad at the melee combat, but I'm really good at like range combat. But you start out with uh, uh, you start out with a sword, so that's what we got. Uh, it'd be awesome to find a gun early on. Uh, hopefully, we can find one on this first planet. If not, then that's totally fine. Melee is not horrible or anything. It just takes a. Uh, you just have to get in there. I mean, generally, the melee does a lot more damage or a lot more DPS. But I like to be a little more safer. Oh, I totally could have gotten get I totally could have gotten both those trees at the same time. Yeah, our hunger is getting a little low. Getting lower. Yeah, it's cool. So the cool thing is you can just come over here and poop. Like I was saying before, you can just click and use it. Uh, you also have this cool sword feature. I uh, see so you're eating sufficiently with a full stomach. Your body will slowly regenerate and heal. Yeah, we get this little little buff, basically a full belly, which gives us some regeneration. And it also makes it you can't eat anymore, so. Not all food will fill you all the way up, so those canned, canned foods are really awesome, though. And also, the thing you'll notice as I break this tree here. There we go. Uh, you can see in the bottom of the information there, it says, Extremely well preserved. Uh, things do go bad, and uh, they'll rot in your inventory, and then they'll be no good to you. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, these trees right next to each other. So good to get at the same time. 
So we can hit both blocks. <laughs> Save yourself some time. I'm not going to get all these trees, though. We don't need that many. I'll collect some more later on. But that should be good. A little bit of iron right here. And get on out of there before that guy gets there. Cool. <laughs> get these plants. They give me lots of cotton plants. We we'll doing some farming later on too, which would be kind of cool. All right, let's go down here and get this blue petal. And there's another chest right here with 80 pixels. Sweet. All right, better than nothing. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Perfect. I like these little randomly generated structures. Like, there's just so many cool little things here and there all over the, the world that are just fun to kind of find. Can we skip you guys a little bit now? Right. There, take some of that. Good. <laughs> get that wheat too. Oh, sweet. We got a little. Uh, was that living root off that guy? Awesome. So a lot of the enemies have a rare drop, and the rare drop off that one is the living room, which is cool. It's used for like different crafting and stuff later, so it's kind of nice. As in like beta of Starbound, there was also um, hunting bows, and I think now there's javelins that do the same thing, but you have a higher percent chance of getting uh, rare drops off enemies when you kill them with them. And you have to like craft bows, so we'll craft one eventually for it, maybe. Uh, but the javelins you find all the time, which is cool. Uh, but they also give you a higher chance of getting steak and uh, or some some sort of meat from the the enemies, and sometimes leather as well. But yeah, that's a little that's a little rice. Give me that. There we go. <laughs> Get that rice seed. I like how the little things pop up in the bottom, showing you what you've gotten before. Oh look, a little chest below this little structure here. Awesome. There's also like these random little fauna creatures, like these little snails you can just like kill. They don't actually do anything to you, but whatever. <laughs> Let's get this chest. Uh, these are some of the blocks that actually, um, they'll fall. So if, they, if you break a block underneath them, they'll actually fall down. So if we click this down below here, you actually see all the things fall. But I like here. Oh, it gets more, more bandages. And I thought I saw, oh, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff down here. All right. Let's dig on down there. Hopefully not dig through. Okay, cool. Let's put a torch in. So we don't fall down through something or land on some enemies or something. Dig on through. Should we get these? There we go. Perfect. All right, come here. Is this guy? See, this guy's a passive guy, so we can actually just do whatever we want right here and not have to worry about him. Oh, dang, yo! Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think we just got a bow, which is awesome. So make sure we're not gonna die to anything. Okay, <laughs> let's check it out. What did, we, what did we just get? Poison bow. Wow, that's awesome. 12.2 damage. Our sword only does six. Six way better. That is such an awesome start. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just swap it right there. So now if we kill this guy. If we can. Oh, it poisons too. Awesome. So you can see a little two damage poison. And then that when that guy dies, he actually splits up in a bunch of little mobs. So to be a little bit careful. But yeah. Bows are a little bit slow because you have to pull them back and actually like aim and stuff. But was that, was that arrow back there still like bleeding like some poison or something? That was awesome. Wow, that was awesome though. That was awesome. Um, there's also these little, uh, I don't know, they're like little vases kind of. You can break around. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to hit that guy. Whatever. Okay, you can die now. Oh, speaking of, that's other good. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you, they're, they're like little vases around the world. And uh, you can break them and get pixels and solves and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. Uh, but I didn't actually check to see if this thing had a right-click ability. Does it have a... Hmm. Weird. Looks like it just fires straight up if I right click and hold versus left click, uh, which is fine. But yeah, you don't have any ammo. Uh, you can use this forever and ever. It just uses your energy basically. So but I like how it, it bleeds and like gives us some light, which is cool. Uh, I think we've just stumbled upon where we want to go next. So let's go ahead and wreck these guys real quick. There we go. And collect some more stuff. What is that? Oh, it's a microphone. There's actually instruments in the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, you've discovered a, oh, a core fragment we just got. Cool. Uh, core fragments are something we're going to be using here in a little bit, which is cool. But... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> How did I... What did I just click on to do that? I don't know what button I just hit, but... If we open it up, we can actually do some songs. There's like a whole bunch of different ones, and you can just play it. But... Let's, uh... Yeah, I don't know how you stop that. <laughs> we'll let it play while we're exploring. How about that? I'm going to come back down here in a second. <laughs> yes. So the different instruments you get in the game um, just sound different. So like that was a microphone, so that was more of a, a singing tune, I guess, because obviously it's a microphone. Can I get up there? That'd be awesome. 
Yeah, we'll break these. And these other two blocks, yeah, see, they fall right below us. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little effect. And I'm failing at jumping on this hole. That's fine. I'm just going to break some of these blocks above here. I have to deal with the ones below me falling around and moving and stuff. Come on. These are kind of hard to break. Okay, cool. Uh, but you know, we have a bow, which is cool. <laughs> That's such a, like, we were just talking about a bow, and then boom. Got one. Treasure is just randomly, randomly uh, spread out throughout the whole world. Or all the different worlds. Uh, we totally missed a bunch of things over here, too. There, get some more petals. And I want to get this rice here. Rice is one of the, one of the better foods because it uh, stacks in your inventory until you cook it. And it doesn't ever go bad until you cook it. So uh, You'll understand why I'm not going to go explore that here in a second. <laughs> There's actually an entrance. We, we actually found the shortcut, which is cool. Got some more stuff on the way. Hey, look, it's some random guy. And there's also these tents. You can actually sleep in the tents. And it gives you a little health regen while you're sleeping. Uh, it's the same thing as like a bed. We can actually pick it up and uh, take it for later if we want. Also, we have a little campfire here. And this is where we can actually cook stuff. We got so many potatoes. Let's go ahead and just cook them all. <laughs> Might as well. Whatever. And as you pick up different things and you cook different things, uh, you actually learn uh, different recipes sometimes. So I don't think any of those do. Uh, but that's just a... You hit, it's a campfire here, you just hit E over it, and then it brings up the, the campfire menu, basically. But now we can actually eat some more stuff. Let's go ahead and eat one of these baked potatoes. Let's eat some orange. No. Oh, we're full right now. Never mind. Let's <laughs> sort the inventory again. Uh, what do you got out here? Hey, stranger, if you're looking for core fragments, you might find a bunch down in this old mine. You should check it out. Spoiler alert, we're going to be looking for core fragments. <laughs> Randomly in your world, going left or right, you will either find uh, this little thing over here that we're going to go into, Oh, oh, that's why I hit the microphone, because it's in my inventory slot here. Cool. We're out of torches. <laughs> oh, let's make some more. But yeah, uh, randomly in the world, if you go right, you'll find either this little cave entrance to a little, like, abandoned mine, or um, you will find the the next part of our quest, which is the archaic energy source, which is right now telling us to go right. Uh, it, it must have updated a little while ago, but I'm just going to craft all these, which is probably more coal limiting. Yeah, it's, it's uh, one coal and one wooden log to make it, so it takes quite a bit. But yeah. So this is our little entrance to a little little abandoned shaft, which is kind of where we where I prefer going. Uh, you can actually dig all the way down the world and get quarter fragments. We're actually gonna need twenty of them, but this is I think a lot more fun. There's a lot more loot and it's a little bit easier to navigate in. It's warning us that if we go down here, it's gonna be very dangerous. But what will we find down in this cave? Find out next time on Let's Play Starbound. That's pretty much it, guys. So if you guys have any questions about the game, definitely leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, again, let me know by hitting the like button. Also, be sure to subscribe if you want to know when future videos are out. And thanks for watching.